okay so at this point on top we're going to be joining our two forces so just to note we have our we're going to say the sum of the vertical forces at that point and then we will add them we will add them so over here we've got the 24 kilonewtons going down which is the vertical force and then we we'll also add the 20 sine of 30 so we're only going to consider our forces at this point here so we've got our our 24 plus our 20 sine of 30 and then we will get we will get 34 kilonewtons and then we will take our horizontal forces which will be our 20 cos of 30 then we will take the summation of that horizontal forces and then that will be 20 cos of 30 and that will leave us with a value of 17.32 okay so let us do the resultant force now of these two forces so that will be the square root of the vertical force squared plus the horizontal force squared and that will be our 34 squared plus our 17.32 squared and that will leave us with that will leave us with 30 38.16 kilonewtons that is the resultant force of these two forces we will see how this force is added onto that force once we redraw our space diagram okay so let us get our our angle of resultant and that is done by arc tan of the vertical force over the horizontal force and then that will be arc tan arc tan 34 over 34 over our 17 3 2 and then that will leave us with an with angle of 63.005 degrees okay so so this right here this calculation here is our is our force here our forces here combined into one resultant force okay so let us see if we have all our components okay so we just need one more one more component so we just need our horizontal component over here so and how we do that how we do the horizontal component we need the summation of the horizontal components on on our full on our full thrust so we will add these we will add these up and we do that like this we will say we will say the summation of the horizontal components we will say so everything to the right we will say as positive and everything to the left we will say as negative and then we will add it up like that so here we will say our 20 cos of 30 minus our 15 cos of 60 and then we will be left with okay so then we will be left with then we will be left with 9,82 kilonewtons and because our, our assumption was to the right and then this is positive that means our assumption was to the right which was correct okay there's three ways of doing that um, but okay that's, that's fine for now um, okay so now that we, we have our, our component over here we have our components over there so all we need is just our resultant but to get our resultant we will need our vertical component here um, we will also be doing our reactions after we've redrawn our our space diagram with our new values 
now that we've joined this force here and we've got our our um, component over there as well.